What's up, everyone? Hello, hello. Uh, chilling here at Mike's on a Friday. Friday, uh, uh, pre. This is like Eve of uh, July. Uh, July Independence Day Eve. Yeah, July right there. Yeah. Independence Day Eve. <laughs> right. See, so might hear some fireworks going off. Yeah. Boom. What's right there. What's going on right now? What's going on right now? So, all right. We had our comparison challenge laid down. The first one of three. The first of three. We yes. had our comparison challenge laid down. Robocop, 1987. Robocop versus Robocop. And today we just watched 2014. Robocop 2014. And I'm not going to lie, I didn't think it was bad. Which is amazing, because I thought automatically he was going to hate it no matter I what. thought so too. It could have been an Academy Award winner. I thought he would hate it, but he did seem to like it. And, uh, okay, well, well, I didn't hate it. It was okay. Well, right, right. Well, that's my I don't opinion. think it needed to be called Robocop, to be honest. Right. They could have switched it up, because they didn't keep any of the names except for the one uh, Alex Murphy name. They could have switched it up. Oh, but they made it look exactly like Robocop. And Ed 209. That right. Those are the two Yeah, and they put some little things in there, over. like you could buy that for a dollar. They had a little Easter eggs in there, if you could pick those up. And I'm sure we missed some of them, too. Lewis was his partner, but it was a black dude instead of a white lady. Right, right. They, they changed Lewis. And also, there was some music that they were playing yeah. that sounded the same. But the very opening, it was the same opening. And then he also said, the uh, you could come with me, uh, you come with me, dead or alive. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, 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 honestly, it was a little different. Uh, then the it was a lot one. different. It was a lot different. Like uh, in other words, it started off with already robots in other countries, not in America. But yeah, in other countries. Iran, and they were in, in Tehran, right? Yeah, and they had at two hundred nine and these uh, oh robots, just nameless robots, yeah, just basic yeah, robots, just no, storming the streets. They weren't cyber cybernetic organisms. No, but they, they were just, just robots. Yeah. And America didn't want them here, uh, except that uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, who was the host of some TV show? Yeah, the next reporter, something like that. Uh, he wanted uh, them over here, uh, but America didn't want uh, robots to just rule. They, yeah, uh, they, they didn't wanted want plain old robots storming the streets. They had to have human uh, emotions. Human emotions. They had to have human emotions. That was the whole key. So when Robocop did his thing and died, and they found a test subject. Well, also, remember, it was totally different the way they created Robocop in this. It's 100% different. Right, right. It was... First of all, all right, he's not even a beat cop. He was an undercover he's detective. He's already on the force. He's an undercover and detective. He's an undercover sort. detective, yes. Yes. He, uh, uh, the gentleman who plays him uh, was in Suicide, Suicide Squad, Squad said, yes. yes. And yes. I believe he's an alter carbon, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, it already... It you know it already comes to the point where like it was a, in my opinion. Look, look, I like the movie, and you like the movie, but we're not gonna say it was better than not better than the first. The original, no. Oh, all right, this movie took way too long to unfold. One hundred percent. An hour into the movie, he's still not on the streets it yet. It took fighting way crime, too long right? to unfold. Right. The movie is about almost two hours. I would say an hour and forty-five. Uh, maybe a little longer, but basically, uh, yeah, he took forever to become Robocop because there were so many things. Like, he had emotions. Yeah, he was brought in with, uh, uh, he was brought in self-aware. As a regular person. He was, right, over, right. He was self-aware from the minute they took him, they, 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 from the minute they pushed the on button. Right. He and was self-aware. And that was the big problem, because whenever he would go out, he would start, you know, having emotions and doing things on his own where... They wanted him just to fight crime and pretty much be emotionless. They didn't want him to start researching his own death, like Robocop like did. Like he ended up doing? Like he ended up doing, correct. But, uh, no, it was uh, it, it was good. I liked it. I, I, I'm not going to... I don't like it as much as the first one, but it's worth giving a shot, I think. I, I'm just saying, I was really surprised just how much... Uh, we're not going to do a... a a very long video. Yeah, in fact, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna wrap it up. But but, uh, but but I like it though. If anybody I'll has, keep it going a few more. If anybody's on the reservation, if anybody's on the reservation about watching it because they love the first one, I say give it a chance. If you like the Judge Dredd remake, you might like this one. I love the Judge Dredd remake. But uh, they they did so many different things with this. But they didn't didn't they did not use one single character other than Alex Murphy. Correct. 
They no, didn't. There was, they, no, there was pick, no Dick uh, Jones. There was no Clarence Boddicker. Right, 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 right. They, they had their OCP. What was it out in China? Omnicorp was uh, out in China. Yes, correct, China. Remember he, he escapes? Well, that was the main lab, because they weren't allowing it in America, uh, I believe. So. Gary Oldman in this. Gary Oldman, who was very helpful to him. Great job by Gary Oldman, too. I didn't even recognize him. But he, like, you know, he he's the one who's... When Alex Murphy finally comes online, and he's like, this happened to you, and we rebuilt you this way. Eventually, Alex Murphy, his he emotions got out. The, Alex Murphy's emotions got the best of him. They had to fucking wipe his emotions away down to less than five percent. Where his wife, originally when he was Robocop, yeah, she signed off on bringing him she back. She signed off on him. Then he went home, saw his son, you know, cried a little bit, and then they 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 just took him away. They put his emotion down to five percent. Then the next day, you see him walking out. He don't even acknowledge his family. He goes three yeah. crimes. Oh progress. yeah, they had to take his emotions down because he was he was dreaming about the uh, the car bomb yes. that killed him. Yes. He gets blown up by a car bomb. Very instead. anticlimactic. It wasn't like the original. Instead of massacred by a bunch of gang members. It wasn't like the original where he got you know got gunned down. He really hate the criminals and you know Michael Keaton was in this, but he wasn't hateable to the end. Kind yeah, of. Yeah, we got Michael Keaton, Gary Oldman, and Samuel L. Jackson. But I like it. I, I liked it. I'm not gonna say it's better than the first one. Uh, not better. You know, than the maybe first one, one day we'll do one of these where we say, like, even Judge Dredd. I mean, I wouldn't say it's better, but I say it's just as good as the first one. The Judge just Dredd. The long one compared the to the Carl. Urban Carl. Urban. Yeah, I think it's just as good. But uh, this one was good, but not as good. It didn't. It didn't. Oh, I think that Carl Urban Judge Dredd is way better than the Stallone Judge. Do you? Dredd. It could be. It way could be. Better. I'm just giving a little less credit, but yeah. Stallone Judge Dredd was way too jokey. <laughs> There was no joking around. Yeah, I, Carl Urban so Judge Dredd. Yeah, that Judge Carl Urban Judge Dredd was like a serious one. Yeah, way more serious than that one. Anything that has Rob Schneider in it, you can't take it seriously. Uh, I guess. All right. I so, guess. all right. RoboCop 2014. It's not as bad as it's not bad at all. I was, I was very anti anti seeing this movie, but yes, I correct. have to learn to. In fact, it took you six years to finally pull the plug. Yeah, I did. But, uh, you know, I guess in order to review movies, you gotta... You gotta take chances. You gotta open up the barn doors of your brain a little bit, right? And it's still... It's still when you see a movie like that, it, it also lets you uh, respect the original even more, kind of. And I don't, I'm not saying I like the original either. The original had actually a better story to it. It did. It had a better story to it the way it they, did. they unleashed everything. So, you know. But, uh... But it was good. Let's see if this was a flop or not. So what was the box office on that? You want to take a guess? I say, I say it was under fifty million. It's a failure. Well, fifty. Well, I would say. All right, wait. Guess the budget before you guess the box office. I would say the budget is uh, seventy million. A hundred million. One hundred and twenty million. One hundred and twenty-five. Thirty. One hundred thirty million. And how much did it make? Go ahead. I would say less than a hundred. I'm gonna. No, 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 no. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Did it break even? 130. Just. Uh, 150. No. You, you have to go to two hundreds. Really? Well, it was a success. I didn't think it was gonna be that good. Two forty-two point six. And if only they had your ticket. My ticket? Your ticket sale. Oh. <laughs> but it was good, guys. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, it wasn't horrible. Uh, wasn't bad. I, I kind of liked it. I wasn't. I just. Don't, I'm in total shock. I just don't think they. Well, fucking don't like anything, let alone reboots of his no, favorite, like, his favorite I like, movies. I like. You know, I like. Freaking, yeah, I don't like anything. I review stuff all the time that I don't like. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, so, what do you think? Well, so, what? What's for the comparisons? What? What? What should be next? Should it be Total Recall or Point Break? Ugh. <laughs> I'm looking forward to any of those. Uh, well, we'll do the original first, and then the reboot. Uh, uh, point Break or Total Recall. I say we do Total Recall. Total I recall. think I would enjoy that one more. <laughs> Alright, so next on the comparison challenge. We'll do Total Recall. Uh, uh, Wait, uh, okay, uh, what, what was the idiot's name that played him? Colin, Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. Yeah. Colin Farrell and uh, 
uh, Kate Beckinsale is the uh, Sharon Stone. Oh, okay, I can think of that. that movie. I got. I, from what I remember of seeing the commercials, however long ago that movie was out, I have a feeling that's gonna be way worse. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like that. Oh, absolutely. How are you gonna redo Total Recall? Good. It's not gonna happen. I'm just saying, compared to that, I actually liked this one. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like Total Recall or Point Break, but we'll see. We'll see. So, Robocop 2014. I guess I give I give it kind of like yeah, you give it like a slight, yeah, slight. Yeah. Have a good one, everybody. Happy Fourth. Happy Fourth of July. Peace out.